Item number, SCP-389, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-389 requires no exceptional containment. When not in use, it is stored on a shelf in the office of Dr. at site due to the site's proximity to the sea. Description SCP-389 is a green glass bottle, approximately 45 centimeters in length. There are no markings or other distinguishing features on it. SCP-389 appears highly resistant to damage, having been dropped or knocked from its shelf multiple times with no fractures, chips, or other damage. Analysis of the material it is made of show it to be identical to normal glass. Object was discovered on Data Expunged, in the possession of a 15-year-old girl named She shared the history of the object as she knew it, which was She discovered it on the beach approximately six years ago. On a whim, she composed a note, placed it inside SCP-389, and threw the object into the sea. Several days later, she returned to find SCP-389 washed up on shore with a reply enclosed. She had been corresponding with another person this way ever since this discovery. Upon testing, it was discovered that this phenomenon appears to work with any note, and after being cast into the sea, would return at high tide the following day, containing a letter. A test consisting of sending the bottle without a note ended with the discovery of the still empty bottle the next day. Messages received are written in English, and appear to have been produced with a mechanical typewriter. The composer of the letters seems loath to reveal any personal details beyond her name, Gedril, and sex. Any questions about or requests for her geographic location are ignored. Gedril will describe the area surrounding her home, wildlife, food, culture, customs, and apparently anything not relating specifically to herself readily and in detail when possible, though her knowledge of many things is limited. Many of the things described are unusual. Among them are trees that uproot themselves and migrate, and the life cycle of insects physically resembling coccinellidae colloquially known as ladybugs, which at one point includes multiple larval members of the species gathering, spontaneously liquefying into a single mass, then reforming again as adults. Tracking devices sent along with SCP-389, regardless of whether they are contained within it or simply affixed to its outside, invariably fail after SCP-389 is beyond approximately 100 meters from the shore. All other attempts to track SCP-389 have likewise resulted in failure. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-388, Ultimate Frisbee, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. <laughs>